learn to love your messes or somebody else's. And what I mean by that is, you know, we all acknowledge that we're going to pass away at some point. We're going to die. And when somebody says, hey, tomorrow's not um, promised, we all go, yeah, we, we realize that. So live today the best that you can. Um, but until you get a final date put on something, you don't really connect to it. My wife was diagnosed uh, over a year ago with a terminal lung disease, and it was a gut punch, emotionally killer for sure. Um, but in the curses are blessings, and I learned to love the messes. And what I mean by that is one of the things that used to piss me off was if she put a spoon that say it had gravy or something on it, instead of putting it in that dish right there, she'd put it right next to that dish on the counter. It'd dry up, it'd get all crusty, and I'd be like, man, blah, blah, blah. And, you know, the funny thing is less than half the time I actually cleaned it, I would just complain about it. But what I've learned to do is really love that crusty mark. Uh, because that means she's, she's here with me. I've also learned just to love sitting, doing nothing, right? Because that person's here. So learn to love the messes. Learn to love the things that are there because I can teach you how to double your income. I can teach you how to increase your profit. I can teach you how to grow the business, get the mindset created. And why do we do it? It's to love the messes. It's to love these moments. It's to have these special people in our life. So take the moment to love your messes. Uh, thanks, share one mess that you're gonna start loving down below. I appreciate it.